Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I want to show you how I flipped a broken goat <laughs> and turned her into a beautiful piece for my home. I also want to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you are celebrating and show you around my space a little bit how I have decorated for Christmas. So stay tuned for this. <laughs> So this is my sad broken goat, look at her, she's missing two legs like that and also the tip of her ears are gone and she has cracks a little bit here and there so I will try to fix her. I have some spare parts, I have um, two legs. Hope they fit. Actually, a third leg as well. I got her from my brother-in-law. He said, um, you can have her if you think you can fix her. I'm always up for a challenge. So hubby is helping me in this process. And one leg will fit here. It is hollow, so we have put just a small branch inside it. I'm figuring out a way to screw it into place. Or we will put tiny holes and put uh, nails in it, actually. The leg is not long enough, so we have to have some space in between as well. So what we're going to do is to put a very strong adhesive a little bit inside that leg and also in between. Uh, you will see what we mean here. We're starting to put that on the stick, put that in, put the nails in place and then we will try to cover the whole area in between there. So we need something to support it while it's drying. This is not going to be uh, the only solution for this um, poor thing, but the first step in the right direction. And the other leg was not hollow, so that was even more complicated. So we just put that adhesive around and hope for it uh, to to dry well and I'm helping it a little bit on the way with my heat gun. The next day we are preparing some epoxy and some glass fiber that I worked with before when I did my fountain. So we put that around so it will make it really really hard and stable because that adhesive is uh, not completely hard. It's, it's hard, but, um, you know, a little bit jelly-like. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika, and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift clips, trash to treasure, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative, really, please join me. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. Here she is the next day. She is standing up on her own. I'm so happy. One leg is a little bit too short, but I will fix that later with just some pads. So I am sanding off my goat with my electric sander and with this rasp whatever I can use to smooth everything out. We needed to put on some more epoxy in some places and let that dry as well. And now I am fixing her ears and I just put on some spackle to do that. Put that in place and smooth them out. And then I will continue to spackle on her body because there were some uneven places where the epoxy was placed so I will smooth that out. She also had some cracks that I filled in and then I will set her aside again and wait for all that to dry. 
She will not be just any goat, she will be a high-end goat. You will see what I will do next to her because I have these silicone molds that I will use with the beautiful pieces in them and um, normally maybe you would put in some air dry clay but since she has a curvy body I will use hot glue because it's more flexible. I will embellish her with these uh, beautiful relief pieces. They have dried now and I did many, many and I will not use all of them. I can save them for another project, the ones I don't use. So I have put one on her buttock and now I'm putting some down on her feet, on her lower legs, like you see me do here. And I will put some on her collar and um, one on her forehead like this. Just put them on with some hot glue and I continue to embellish her until I'm happy with the result. And then I am painting her. I'm painting her in a black satin color and I applied two coats all over. I use my small paintbrush to get into the nooks and crannies of those uh, tiny embellishments that I put on her. Once the paint has dried completely, I go in with my creamy gold color to highlight all the pretty embellishments. And now I am using these plastic buckets. I think I got them from IKEA a very long time ago. I just take away that piece there on the top. I will make them hang in a different manner. So I'm making two holes on the back, just measuring where I need them. Because these will be baskets to put on my goat's back and put something in it, some herbs or flowers or something. I'm painting my to-be baskets. I tried to spray paint them black but uh, it didn't work really so I'm taking my black satin color and apply two coats inside and out and here they are but in order to make them really durable I will put on a coat of varnish all over inside and out there as well. I will embellish my buckets to make them look a little bit more like baskets. So I'm taking strings of jute twine, four and four, and measure them. And then I will hot glue them into place like you see me do here. Just keep my strings straight so they are not tangled and then bring them all away around like that. And I will do that on the side as well and weave them on the bottom. The verticals are done and now I'm weaving my way horizontally on my basket just like you see me do here and just attach it with some hot glue on the back where it will not show. On the rim I will attach some burlap ribbon to give it a nice finish. Just hot glue it on the inside and then fold it onto the outside like that. Then I need to attach them together so they can hang over the back of my goat 
just pull a nautical rope through the holes I made earlier and I have measured how long I need it and then pull it through the other basket as well and then I will just glue the pieces together and attach them with some two twine as well and in between there I will attach a piece of burlap ribbon just an ordinary one at first and then a green thinner one to make her look pretty and here she is my beautiful goat I will show you what she looked like without her basket to start with so you can see all the embellishments that I made that touch of gold just made her high end I think and look at that she looks beautiful And here you can see her leg that is a little bit shorter, just put some pads on it. It will not show that much. She stands up tall and proud. And here she is in my kitchen. Not many people has a goat on their kitchen counter. I have put herbs in her baskets. And I put, just for Christmas, a bell around her neck like that with a red ribbon. Tell me, what do you think of my goat flip? Let me know in the comments. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you all. I will show you a little bit around my living area, how I decorated it for Christmas. You've seen a lot of it already. Here I have my dough ball that I've decorated, a little nativity scene with my Christmas trees behind it and my candle holder that I just made in my previous video. Here I have some Christmas trees and the picture of my darling mother surrounded by angels. And here is how I have decorated my bookshelf here. and my mantle full of Christmas trees. Do you know how many Christmas trees I have in my living space? It's over 40, including those tiny ones, of course, but over 40 Christmas trees. And as you can see, I didn't go for Christmas in Paris. There are a lot of lights everywhere, but I needed rustic, cozy this year, no, particular theme, just cozy. I got this wooden tree at the thrift store for only four euros. I was so happy when I found it. Same in US dollars, by the way. And almost everything you see here I have made or thrifted. So it's a budget-friendly Christmas for me. Here are my Christmas stockings that I made last year. I have a video on that if you want to check that out. And my book Christmas tree here looking pretty. And this is my coffee table. I haven't done that much of decorating, just a basket with some ornaments. And my witch hazel branch is full of gold icicles. Love that. And opposite my fireplace I have uh, the other Christmas trees right here and there are three of them in a small Christmas forest. So 
some gnomes, of course. And I have a sled there with my Christmas Santa bag. And this tree is all dressed in white. And this is how my dining table looks like. Just the centerpiece there, ready for some family and friends to come. Going further into my kitchen area. If you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing and hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one or two videos per week. I didn't um, put that many decorations in my kitchen. I have a wreath there and some gnome ornaments. Joyeux Noël, Merry Christmas. And here is my goat again, looking pretty. And if you are on the lookout for a last minute ornaments, go and click on the playlist in my description box where I have a bunch of shorts, 24 to be exact, and it's less than 24 minutes to go through them all. Nice and easy Christmas ornaments. And here is the final look, a 360 degree a view of my living space. This is where I put most of uh, my decorations. I don't have that much decorations in the rest of my house. Here you can see my master bedroom. It's not much at all here. I have my skinny tree that I made. And that tree that I made as well, and the Christmas star. And I have my golden cage here as well that I did for my Paris look. The Eiffel Tower in it, looking pretty. And under my skinny tree, you can see that I've decorated it with some gnomes and an angel. Once again, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If I have the time and the inspiration, I will put up a video in between Christmas and New Year. If you want more inspiration for Christmas straight away, just hit that playlist icon appearing on the screen right here. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.